Wheels. I'm on my way to run an errand. And I thought I would drop on and say hello. And I'm driving. Oh, oh no, that's terrible. She's driving while filming. Oh. All right, we'll move on from that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I see where Mr. Sarasota is saying he's feeling better, and I think that's fantastic. I'm glad his uh, doctor gave him the right meds. I think he's back to drinking coffee. I really don't know for sure, but it's just kind of what I picked up. I didn't watch all of the morning chat. I just watched bits or pieces, and then I looked at the uh, transcript. Now, I don't, I'm assuming he's not back to drinking a pot of coffee a day, but who am I to know? And really, I guess it's none of my business. Now, this phone may overheat, so I may have to stop you and come back because it is warm here today. It's always warm after a tropical storm comes through. You know, y'all know how that is. And it looks like we're doing a car wash here. Free, wash and dry. Well, if I had the truck, I'd do it, but I don't have the truck. And that means I'd have to see it there and it's hot. <laughs> oh well alright what was I about oh I was talking about that it wasn't none of my business it's not really any of my business but if I won't talk about it I'm going to it's my channel it seems that some people think that I shouldn't give advice because I am not the picture of health I don't know what the picture of health is or what they perceive as it's a matter of life and death. I don't know. All I know is I'm somebody who has lost a lot of weight in my lifetime. I mean, a lot of weight. No, I didn't keep every pound off, but I have kept the majority of it off. And you know what? Maybe one day I'll get the rest that I gained back off and everything will just be rosy and you know, I'll be the picture of health then. And then again, I might not be. As someone who has yo-yo dieted all their life, that's what I've done. I've had many stomach problems. Now, I have never had diverticulitis. But I've had many stomach issues. I have IBS. With fibromyalgia and sometimes it hurts. I've had to go to the hospital before when I had a bowel blockage. I was lucky that I wasn't put in the hospital. But... I decided I could do it on my own, and I did. Now I know how to prevent that. I have no gallbladder because I was yo-yo dieting. It had to be taken out because I had a gallbladder attack. And it turned out I had gallstones as big as a racket ball. So I was told. And he offered to bring them to me and show them to me. And I told him, no, thank you. I had no desire to see them. I trusted him. So there you have it. I'm not an expert. Never claimed to be an expert. I'm just talking from experience. And a lot of what I've talked about can be put into remission by following certain ways of eating. It may not work for everybody, but why not try it? Why not try it? What is that guy doing? <laughs> anyway, 
why not give it a try if something else don't work that's all I said that's all I said anyway I'm gonna move on from that too and just talk about let's see what else can we talk about and I know sometimes y'all may not like that I respond to comments but I think it's important to let people know that you do read the comments and I do I read every comment I try to reply to every comment that I can now I'm not gonna say if you sometimes the comments will not come to my studio that's where I go when I talk about that I'm talking about the app YouTube studio and I don't see them why they don't come there I don't know and sometimes when I go into the held for review which is not every day I don't I will release them but then I can't find them so I don't know what happens to them but I try to respond to every comment I will on occasion delete a comment just because I as I said before I don't want any of y'all to get put in YouTube jail for 24 hours or 48 hours or whatever what it is and I don't want to start an argument a little discussion I'm good with but a out and around argument I don't want to start other thing is is that if you blatantly put me down or put anybody else down I'll give you a break the first time and the second time but as I said three strikes and I'm hitting the hide button or block whatever it is I think it's hide user I'm hitting it and there's some of you that have been hit I don't know if you make another an account or somehow but you get back in here I can tell by the writing but that's okay like I said until you well I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna shut up all right what else was I gonna say I'm talking about the rules of my channel understand why some people there are ways that you can say things I mean be critical of someone and be respectful and Tim's viewers subscribers are supposed to be the salt of the earth but yet you have to come in here and criticize me for some reason or another. I don't go on his channel and criticize anyone. I didn't before. I mean, even when I was a regular viewer and before I saw the light, <laughs> I did not say anything mean to people. I may have said something like, you know, why did you have to say that? And I, I mean, to somebody if they were being mean to him, but I, I stopped. I stopped because I thought, Tim needs to handle these. I don't need to handle him, them for him. And then, I, you know, I saw the light and I quit. I don't know, like I said before, I don't know if he has me hidden. I'm not going to find out. Every once in a while, I'll think about commenting. And then I'll think, no, because I'm going to get beat up and whatever. And I mean, even though I'm not even going to leave an ugly comment. I thought I'll still get beat up and then people will think I'm going back to his side. And I think that's what some people thought when I did the positive video. Because that was not the meaning of the positive video. It was me telling you that I can be positive. I can be all positive, but I'll be just as negative as I can be positive. That's just the way it is. That's just the way I am. And the only reason I say that is I know some people unsubscribed after that, you know, because I can look at my numbers. Not a whole lot, but some. And I thought, well, they just didn't understand the video. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that. 
Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Hope okay, the phone got hot. Anyway, what I was saying is that I can't donate thousands to anybody, but I can try to put you into touch with charities that may can help you. I know of several that help storm victims and it may be that I can help you try to find them or whatever. I can do that. I mean, I could give maybe five to ten dollars, maybe twenty, twenty-five at the most, but I couldn't do it for a hundred people. I'm just saying that there are ways that you can get help. Okay, I uh, went into CVS, and no, I didn't record because I know one time I was trying to record and I thought they were going to say something to me, but I didn't. So I just wanted to let you know what I bought. I bought this Wet and Wild. Uh, bronzer in what, sh what shady beaches and the reason I did this is because I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury which I love but I know not everybody wants to pay that much for a bronzer so I um, I do like the Milani powder bronzer but it's hard to find now you can only find like in there all they have was the cream bronzers and I like the cream bronzers in the winter but in the summer I want a powder so I bought that it was only $4.99 I bought the Ultra High Performing Dry Eye Relief. This is what I use for my dry eyes. I had run out. I was trying to use something else that was not as expensive, but it wasn't working. It wasn't working. Uh, then what else did I buy? Oh, I bought my mom some Perel hand sanitizer. She was about out. She prefers Perel. And then I got my meds, which I'll tell you what my meds are for. I take a blood pressure pill, just one, and then I take a, a pill to help with my asthma. That's what I take, plus I have an inhaler, rescue inhaler if I need it. But this is more like an allergy type pill, but it works with asthma patients. And I've been taking that for about five years. And it does help me to where I don't, I rarely have to use my rescue inhaler okay i'm gonna go and i uh, appreciate everyone watching because i know this thing's gonna overheat again and i hope that i didn't upset anybody it's never my intention to upset anyone or anybody with my videos and i will talk to y'all later hope you have a, a wonderful blessed weekend and i'll talk to you later love you bye now, now, who's that pretty as can be